Hey guys, welcome. It's Danny here. We are riding up Tobin's Road and we had a really wet uh, season. As you can see, there's lots of mud, leeches round. Um, they're really slippery as you can imagine. for that one. Keep going Ollie, good job buddy. <laughs> good job mate. <laughs> Roosted by his own son. Joining me today is uh, Paddy and his uh, 11 year old son Ollie, who's riding a KDM 85, and a mate Shane who uh, decided to join us. Yes, I always play my stacks. I have no shame. I don't mind showing my stacks because I expect to stack every time I go out riding. Meeting the ride today is Shane. Shane's a local kid. He knows the area pretty well. And he showed us some um, sections that uh, around Cabin Road that I've never seen before. Really enjoyed the ride. Uh, we went uh, up to um, the lookout, uh, murals lookout, then we come back again. Mainly singles, as you'll see, hill climbs, some drops. It's a bit challenging in places. This hill was a bit challenging, but it was alright. Just need momentum. What the fuck? No, you don't believe he's coming back down. Here's Shane showing us what he has to offer. He's a pretty talented kid. This is the hill going up to the go track. Some of you might be familiar with go track. It's not the easiest place in the world to ride. But yeah, Shane got up that hill pretty easily the second time, that's for sure. following someone as talented as Shane, he tends to pick better lines than what I can and it makes difficult obstacles seem easy. If I was still wanting this with that funnel on him, I'm pretty sure I would have had the stack on it already. It's a WR stall. <laughs> My last bike was a WR, so it gives me the right to uh, have one as much as I want. Uh, they're a pretty solid bike, they're pretty good, but uh, heavy. And they oh, stall, sorry, like they stall you. all the time. They just flame out, like, you wouldn't believe. It's in the most awkward places. find my Husky FE 450 doesn't flame out anywhere near as much as the WR did. Oh. It's a lot lighter, like noticeably lighter. 
great bike. I really like the power delivery on it, much better than the WR. Um, it's just much more controllable. The WR just has a lot of power down the bottom. Um, yeah, I just I really like the Husky. And now we're hitting the singles. I love singles. Now we're heading down the valley to go to the next set of mountains, go up to the lookout. There's Paddy uh, following his son, Ollie, making sure uh, that he's alright. He must be a proud dad, seeing his son uh, just improving out of sight every kilometre that comes by. Like I've seen this kid develop so fast, it's really, really impressive to watch it. Um, he just loves riding and he's, he's getting really good at it. Very slippery, very fucking slippery. You're relying on the rear brake a lot down these things. Front brake, you obviously use it, but you can't lock it up or you slide straight over. I'll show you what that looks like later on. It won't be long before Paddy is unable to keep up with his son. And well, for any, most of us won't be able to keep up with his son if he keeps going the way he's going. He just does need a bigger bike. Is the next plan. We're just bigger wheels. I reckon Paddy would be thinking, how great is my son going? He's just got to be one proud father, seriously. running Dunlop 606s uh, not the best tyre for these conditions they're absolute crap they're great for rocks or dry conditions but any mud or clay that just sticks to it and you just get no traction at all terrible terrible tyre to run for these conditions and that just happened Oh, that was a bit of fun. And now we're riding up the other side of the mountain. And as you can see, it's not as wet. It's a bit drier. Um, tire performs much better in these conditions. It's still a bit of mud around. But uh, because it gets a bit more sun and the other side is shaded, it tends to dry up much better and get a lot more grip. Ollie's handling conditions pretty well. He's going downhill pretty uh, quick, picking good lines. On that little 85 uh, KDM, small wheels. Yeah, pretty good. It's easier. I can go down there.
That was pretty good. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Sorry? He's very good. He's very good, eh? Yeah, that's impressive. I'm not gonna do it. 